Coco. 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 Mm-hmm. And how uh, it made Pam very emotional. Yeah. We're about to play a scene for her to see if that uh, happens again. It probably will. What's the movie about? So there's this kid, Miguel. He lives in Mexico. Now, he wants to be a musician. He's been secretly playing guitar. Now, the thing is why he's secretly playing guitar is because his parents and his family have shunned music in their house. Because his great, 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 great grandmother... I'm not the best at explaining movies. You just got to go see it yourself. <laughs> like the, not, I'm not Os- I'm not like Roger and you're Ebert. Not Oscar, you know, Roger I'm a and sudden, Ebert. Oh, you know, I'm, Ebert. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a person who explains anyway, movies well. Anyway, she struck saying? a chord with you. It struck a chord with me. I mean, it, you got emotional. Where you are like sobbing out loud. It got what, to fell? The, what struck a chord. Struck a chord. Mm-hmm. Ah, that was funny. Boom, boom. It got to the point <laughs> where. I was loud crying in the theater. Like, you know when you get that uncontrollable sob? It was like that where I was like the... <laughs> like, I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. And do we have the scene queued up now that yes. uh, did this to you? So there, it happened throughout the movie, but here is a big scene. This is where um, Miguel... This is a spoiler alert. Where Miguel finds out who Hector is, who has been basically his guide... In the land of the dead. My guess was that it's his father. The reason why you guess that is because I gave you a lot of cute. I guess it's Batman. Hmm. So yeah, yeah, Batman gave me too much information. I shouldn't I'm, have done that. I'm Batman because no. you wouldn't have guessed it. I think if I didn't give you all the info. Yeah. Hmm. So here. I think so. But all right, here we go. So there. Are... Okay. I always hoped I'd see her again. What he's saying She's is Coco. Busy. So Maybe he was basically. Boat. Um, uh, he was a musician back in Mexico, and he goes on tour with this guy, Ernesto De La Cruz. And basically, he never returns to his family. If you don't watch the scene, I don't know how you'll ever get emotional. I know. Okay. But she's the last person who remembers me. The moment she's gone from the living world... You disappear from this one. You'll never get to see her. Because he's on the verge of being forgotten forever, and basically, he's already dead, but... You know, I wrote her a song once. This is where the song we comes in. We sing it every night, at the same time. No matter how far apart we were. What I wouldn't give to sing it to her. One last time. <laughs> Don't... Remember me. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> To say goodbye, remember me. He hasn't seen her since she was a little girl, and that's not because of him. I can't, I can't give all the details. Toque el guitarra. Hold you in my heart. I sing a secret song to you each night. Let me first I'm sorry, this is very emotional. <laughs> I, if you guys watch the whole movie, you'll really see why. It's not, it's because you think, you start to think about your own life and you start to think about your family and you don't want this happening to you. It really makes you cherish your life so much more. Imagine what did you just think be, of when uh, this was. You know, I think about, I think about people I've lost, like family members, and I think about like losing my dog, and I think about, and then I'm. I'm like, just imagine you go out to be a musician and somebody, I can't even give you all the details, and then you never see your family ever again, and they have no idea what happened to you. And all you want to do is contact them, and you can't. They basically shunned you. And it's. I must tell you, you do. You think about, you just think about mistakes that you've made in your own life, maybe with people you've loved. Like watching stupid movies. It's not stupid. <laughs> I paid See, you guys, are trying too, you guys are trying too hard to be manly and tough. But you see it and you're going to... Memories of your life and, and people you've loved that have passed on will be triggered. I'm telling you. you. You don't need to be tough. You don't need to be a tough guy. You don't need to. That's part of I'm a tough guy. I went to the Coco. <laughs> I'm proud to be his family. This is when he finds out who Hector is. And he's so excited because he was bummed out. He thought that this musician, uh, uh, whatever his name is, Ernesto de la Cruz, was his dad. And then he finds out that Ernesto is a big D bag. 
But then he finds out you have such a that this bag. guy. Is he seeing his long lost dog right now? But, um, it's his dog from Mexico right. that followed him into the land of the dead. <laughs> it's the Mexican police sneaking in a trunk of a car. <laughs> it's a Mexican short hair. <laughs> and a now, whole letter came in. So Damn. this is a big part right here because now Hector is Pants seeing emotional. is seeing his his wife that he hasn't seen. I mean, in years and years and years and years and years, my she has no idea what happened. Since they to him. started drawing the cartoon, my God, you've put on so much weight. <laughs> <laughs> so now they're just going through the land of the dead. Oh, you smear! Look at that size so of that you. Oops. Oh. Yeah. What I had I hit pause by accident. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Dramatic pause because <laughs> my hand was quivering. So I have a feeling this didn't have the same effect on you the second time. The I mean, it still does, but the first time you see anything, you're it's right. it's emotional. And also, you don't have two knuckleheads making fun of you. Yeah, that you want to punch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, meet your grandfather in a second. Because you guys are you guys think that it's just a stupid cartoon. Thank you. But without even seeing it. it all right. Well. I'll watch it. You should. You okay. really should. And I think, honestly, AJ, I think you'll be blubbering like a baby more than me. Because of his If you dad. see this. Because of everything. I think you're just naturally a sensitive guy, which is fine. Thank you. But yeah, you, you think, you do. You start to think about... Phil, any comments on uh, the live Facebook page? I like the hot cocoa. Yeah. Chaz and AJ. Hey, guys, beef. Hey, right, beef. Did they have a oh, party can you stop that movie, please? What? What's that? Did, did they have a big party at this guy's funeral? <laughs> yes, the back then top ten. Well, the the Day of the Dead is a big is a big party that the whole yeah. town celebrates. That the whole like the country celebrates. They so, would, yes, they would call him. I would say big, yes. That's a big holiday. I think it's either right before Halloween or right after, right? Uh, yeah, I think they, it's right they would before. call you Carney Man. <laughs> All right, Beef Man, you were right, right two hours ago. Okay. Thank you. All right, Jazz. I'm just glad that.